What's up guys, my name is Mike, welcome back to the channel. Here today with another unboxing for you. So, without further ado, box from Adidas, Burn Mon, Bomba Clot. Now this shoe for me, mixes in my early to mid 90s footwear style with some Sherlock Holmes type of swag. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Bam. So this is an Adidas Samba, as many of you are probably familiar with. It's not your standard black and white leather. The Samba, I think, is Adidas' second highest selling shoe of all time, next to the Stan Smith. Now this is a collaboration between Adidas and Fox Brothers in the UK. Um, and they are a fabric manufacturer um, that's been around, I think, since the late 1700s. You know, they produce wools and flannels for suits and, and scarves, and they make fabric. So as you can see here, instead of your normal black leather upper, you've got this raw, it's not raw, it's been spun, obviously, but you got some undyed wool here making up the upper. You got your Samba branding. You've got the Adidas three stripes and this sort of chocolate brown leather here. They've put this clear brown suede on the mud guard here. Got this sort of cream, almost like a white mocha colored leather here along the eyelets, matching laces. Your blue Adidas trefoil logo there on the tongue. And again, just wrapping around this entire upper is this wool. So these are going to be cozy boys for sure. They've added a heel tab here. Pretty cool touch. Not a huge heel tab guy. Take it or leave it, but I think it looks pretty dope on these. And inside the shoe you've got the matching orange. Sort of a very cool updated yet vintage take on a classic shoe. Let's take a look at the other one. They do give you an extra set of orange laces here. Rope tags, no more plastic on these. Might give those orange laces a shot. That might look pretty dope. And on the insole on this left shoe, you've got your Fox Brothers logo there. Very cool touch. When I saw these, it just really brought back some fond memories of that two to three year window, maybe where I was transitioning out of basketball sneakers and starter jackets into these soccer style shoes with those adidas jackets that had the three stripes and the trefoil on the sleeve i'll try to throw a picture up if i can find one everybody had or wanted those jackets at least up here in the northwest before ultimately going full grunge with the skate shoes and everything like that these definitely had their moment in the evolution of my footwear style. I just thought the collab was such a cool idea. I just loved how they took an old model and combined it with centuries old materials and technology, yet it looks fresh and new. Just a really cool collab, man. We'll throw these on foot. Uh, I just got some Adidas sweats on and um, I'll let you guys know my thoughts, how they fit, feel, everything like that. And um, be right back. <music>
Fit feels good, lengthwise. Uh, I'm a ten and a half. These are a ten and a half. Uh, I have just a little bit of room in the toe, which is you know not a bad thing. Um, now the issue with me in shoes like this and the Superstar, Stan Smiths too. I'd say the same goes for you know Vans, Chucks, any shoe that kind of has this flat bottom and really this shape of outsole. I have kind of a wide flat foot and so the instep here it always hits my arch just kind of in a weird spot because of how narrow it is right there. So my foot wants to kind of spill out over that. It's not uncommon with a lot of these style of shoes. So I'm not sure um, if I'm going to keep these or not to be honest. I'm noticing a few QC issues on these right now. Number one, on this right shoe, you've got this blemish here that looks like glue somebody tried to wipe off. To be honest, I might send these back. I don't think I could exchange them for another pair. I'm pretty sure my size is sold out. I think they only had some small sizes left. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these or not, to be honest. Um, Kind of disappointed, just really, I mean, I don't care about scuffs on my shoes, but I'd rather be the one making them <laughs> than paying for one. Um, but more than that, it's for me, it's about the comfort and I have a tough time with, like I said, shoes that are this narrow being kind of a flat footer. So, so these might be going back. Um, either way. Very dope collab, um, as evidenced by, like I said, I'm pretty sure most of them are sold out already. Um, yeah, these might be the first pair um, that I've reviewed that I might not keep. I got another pair coming in uh, that I managed to grab on sale. I didn't think I would be able to get my hands on these anymore. Super stoked about those. I'm sure somebody returned them and uh, they ended up coming back into inventory. So, and they happen to have my size. So, anyway, again, Appreciate you guys for watching, man. Uh, really do. All you guys that are leaving comments, man, it makes my day. It really does. So uh, thanks again, and uh, see you next time.